Hey, good evening. My name is Rez Toledo and you're listening to the Base Tagalog show called Rez BTS Podcast. It's my first time to do this on my page and uh, I hope you like it. Today I'm continuing the series on what I call the Racy series, which is um, all about three things um, on my very own Rez BTS Podcast. Uh, you can search it up. It is available on Spotify and um, the Res BTS podcast is all about like a fury that Tagalog already sounds like this. Um, that's basically it. And I made a show about it para masabi ko or ma-record ko yung speech patterns and things I'd like to talk about. Um, I recently just finished the whole season of the podcast and I'm now basically trying to experiment on the next things that I could do to basically ma-forward ko pa yung pagtatagalog. So yung pagtatagalog kasi it's an ethnic uh, language daw sa Pilipinas, ethnic daw na language sa Pilipinas and like um, I just see it as like a form of person, form of tao. And uh, the more that I record about it and the more that I talk about it, I think it benefits my life because I'm able to um, actually hone my identity, become part of the Tagalog history, and um, exercise my rights in the Tagalog world, so to speak. And if you're new to this, you could just uh, look for the existing content on Spotify. Again, the series is called... The Racy series of the Res BDS podcast is actually nasa ano na ako eh, episode number 34. And if you're joining me here, I am doing, you know, I'm I'm upping up the factors a bit so that I could be really extracting ko ano ba talaga yung iniisip ko about yung base Tagalog at tinatawag ko. Um, parang napapanahon lang ata na meron akong tayo, ako, tayo, sila, kami. Na bagong tawag dun sa kung ano man yung sinasalita ng mga kabataan ngayon or, or mga middle age, uh, ng mga middle, I would say middle class even. Um, if you're familiar with how, if you're actually hearing not just the way people sound, but actually just the way people talk about um, ano yung pagkakasunod-sunod, ano yung magiging uh, next topic kung paano nagkakakabit-kabit yung discussion, yung tahi-tahi ng mga ganitong bagay. It's very, just, it's just very, could be very annoying, could be very boring, depende sa trip mo. Pero it is a linguistics show, I gotta admit. Na it's talking about words, and I I mentioned in my other episodes na you know the same way that English people talk about English all the time is the same way Tagalog people talk about katagalugan. So yung katagalugan is something that is actually very real, but um is the minority. So in the minority in our country. So um, speaking from a, a cosmopolitan uh, mindset. Uh, the Tagalog people who can who can speak have sort of like a difficulty trying to be understood by the the majority of uh, the people who are communicating in a communicating fashion. You know, we don't want to really go on to the nitty gritties of like Philippine politics and historicities. But although my experience natin yun sa ano sa kung paano pag-usapan ngayon yung lingwahe and and sometimes i do talk about it i do share you know napakakapagkwento ako pero ang ginagawa ko talaga is really is to parang translate the observations 
because I am sort of surrounded by um, what do you call this? A sort of a almost scientific and educational academic community of people. And nasasagap namin yung mga kung ano ba yung mas magandang i-share imbis na pinag-usapan lang natin is kalandian, um, kaperahan, um, ano pa ba? Uh, games and um, kung ano yung maganda, pangit, mayaman. You know, the, we're very much sometimes addicted to uh, discussion of extremes. ba diba? So, eh, madapakadali naman mag-drawing ng extreme. Usually, makakadrawing ka na ng star <laughs> pag puro ka extremes. And that's a very light show. It's a very light uh, experience for me as well because um, like I said, you know, kung pinag-uusapan ko lang naman Tagalog and uh, nagtatagalog lang naman ako then what do you really expect, right? I can't really expect anything either. But um, ito yung medyo seryosong I wouldn't say topics, you know. Uh, exploration ko pa rin to very much still very selfish with how I do this. Um, exploration ko pa rin to ng base Tagalog is I wanted to figure out um, kumbaga in the metaphorical sense kung nagbabasa kayo ng uh, Letit Little Princes there's Boabab's in human culture Boabab's puno na parang poisonous or whatever something like that but so just we have to tend to them and my new Boabab so to speak are the three races which are technocracy bureaucracy and theocracy so this episode is dedicated and the start of my uh, base Tagalog translation of uh, kung ano man yung pwede kong pag-usapan or ma-unload about what I know currently about bureaucracy. So in the previous episode, we talked about technocracy and then I talked about how kung saan yan kumakabit. And we actually ended that part by reading up on the... Um, Transhumanist Declaration. And um, it's a very interesting feeling that I got from it. Um, and uh, a very interesting also, uh, I would say, a very interesting reaction from my immediate community of of uh, readers, listeners, and feelers, so to speak. Um, so, bureaucracy, let's start with that. Bureaucracy. The root word is bureau. Which is, I think, governmental in a sense. Parang, I think I defined it in the in the previous um, uh, episodes as something that arises from the complications and the systems of a social governing body. It's just something, you know. Bureaucracy is just something that happens on its own because we have forms, we have, uh, you know, we have uh, rules, we have things that we could talk about. We have things that we could, um, how do you say? We have things that uh, are, in Tagalog, nandiyan na. Pagdating natin sa mundo, nandiyan na. Ako naman, nung pinanganak ako, meron ng gobyerno. Eh. Nung pinanganak ako, meron ng history. Meron ng uh, forms. Yung forms na literal, yung parang paper, pad paper. Uh, meron ng... Uh, Meron ng mga kung ano-anong uh, departamento, departments. Meron ng kung ano-anong genre. Meron ng kung ano-anong rules. So, hindi ko naman dinatnan yung mundo na walang existing na forms. Na walang existing na na sistema. Um, and, and I think yun yung pinaka-earliest na naiintindihan ko about bureaucracy. Kasi yung bureaucracy... Matagal na matagal na yan, basta kung saan merong nationality, saan merong gobyerno, saan merong pinamumunuan, kung saan merong nagpapasakop, yun yung tinatawag na ano, yung bureaucracy. And yung bureaucracy, sarap pag-usapan sa totoo lang kasi yun yung nire-reklamo ng mga tao ngayon. Yun yung nire-reklamo nila na parang kunwari pa yung mga tao na hindi nila kayang i-define yun. So yung panaklaw na pananalita dun is... O oh, sige, usapang bureaucracy pala eh. O oh, oh, sige, magpagalingan tayo sa usapang bureaucracy. Hindi yun basta reklamo lang bureaucratic ka na, diba? Ang usapang bureaucratic kasama yung pag-design ng sistema. Yung sistema bilang, hindi lang yung kumbaga sistema lang na, na basta maka-epal ka lang sa gawain ng gobyerno or maka-epal ka lang na, 
maka-epal ka lang sa gawain ng uh, ng kung sino man yung mga may 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 parang pam- may may parang I'm not even I'm not even like talking about it in terms of uh, being pro anything or pro anything. I'm pro words, you know. I'm pro kind of like I'm pro ano, I'm pro uh, systems, I'm pro cr- pro information. You know, we are actually in the information age and whichever type of government you are you find yourself in, if it's an international, galactic or local sort of tribal government, it's still some form of leadership. And it functions with either from the very bottom, a ritualistic, tribalistic form of um, uh, leadership entertainment, <laughs> sort of capitalistic theater, theater or a security, um, security theater. Alam mo yun, parang keeping, not, uh, I mean, keeping the state sort of, keeping the state sort of intact, the state of a sort a certain uh living society as a state of a certain kind of uh, living um I don't have any word for it but so kung sino nga yung mga pinamumunuan sino nga yung, at sino yung nagpapasakop di ba uh so ganun may bureaucracy na nangyayari doon so I find in my community or even on social media a lot of people talking about uh, how how much they know sometimes about uh, kung what is what should be kung ano yung a, a priori ano yung dapat ano yung ganyan they are talking about I'm not being again not being on uh, the pushy side kung baga not even on the edgy side or the funny side right now pero kung baga if you're lost in that ang pinag-uusapan nila yung mga chikiting dyan na nagbabasa ng kung ano-ano pinag-uusapan nila is bureaucracy kasi maraming maraming tao yung hindi nakakaintindi at kung paano ginagawa yung bureaucracy, so to speak. So yung bureaucracy, ang, ang talagang pinaka problema sa bureaucracy is, yun nga, yung kung paano ko inintro, di ba? Na mismong pagdating na natin dito, pagka born na natin dito, is meron na talagang bureaucracy. Hindi naman, hindi naman na bago yun. Eh. Tulad ng, tulad ng technocracy, technocracia, because that one is skills-based, this one is a bit leadership-based. And it's weird. It's nice to talk, be able to talk about it because actually, um, if you find yourself that you are leading a, your small department, your family, your group, your Discord group, your uh, gamers group, your uh, no, then you have some form. You are entering some form of uh, bureaucracy, nonetheless. Um, in my personal opinion, bureaucracy starts with forms. The moment that you signed on a piece of paper that you are some type of human in order to belong to a certain a certain type of grouping para makakuha ka ng benefits, para makakuha ka ng, ng mga kung ano-anong pwedeng makuha pag sumali ka sa bureaucracy ng isang department or, you know, pag meron kang parang trip na bago. Alam mo yun, trip na bago, bibili kang bahay, bibili kang pupunta kang states, putang, ibang parts ng China, you will enter or you will experience the most definitely some sort of bureaucracy. And it's fun to talk about it because nung lockdown, nung nag-lockdown, natigil lahat. Pati yung bureaucracy natigil. Actually, technocracy lang yung gumana. Uh, yung, yung, yung bureaucracy natigil. Pinatigil, di ba? Um, um, so it's interesting that way na tumigil yung ano yung stoppage sa sa part na yun do parang or na you could say na tumigil but like na highlight or na ilawan or na wala yung ilaw dun sa side na yun so it's very interesting sa pagintindi ko ng based pagbabase tagalog ko ng bureaucracy and I kind of wanna sort of think of it with you guys right now or with this uh, time right now in the recording, kung ano ba talaga yung bureaucracy? Especially na I am, a, I am from the context of a digital native. I'm like, um, what do I care about uh, a bureaucracy when I can sort of hack into systems, when I can sort of meme myself into being part of like a certain... Uh, 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 different type of group, you know, that if I can identify with, you know, King T'Challa, 
uh, or if I can identify with, uh, you know, like for 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 for, for better example for for the uh, with the Avengers, right? Na yung kahit naman mismo yung Avengers, puro bureaucracy lang pinag-usapan nila eh. Kasi diba, top-notch na yung technocracy levels nila, maxed out na yun supposedly, right? And especially for like Iron Man and, um, right? So Iron Man is technocracy, bureaucracy is Captain America, and uh, theocracy is uh, a light version of theocracy is whoever else. Um, but you get my point that um, um, it's sort of like some things that we have to review on because these are things na alam mo na pero wala lang wala lang nagpipinpoint kung ano yung pinag-uusapan ng mga tao. So when I'm when I'm like when I personally, when I'm talking about this, it's because I'm reacting to what I see. I'm reacting to sort of ano yung, ano yung sinasabi nila dun sa, kung ano yung sinasabi nila about um, uh, what they think they know. So, so what they think, so what people think uh, they know is what they talk about. And there's nothing totally wrong with that. And um, from a linguistic show point of view, mas, mas okay nga yun, eh, diba, na parang nagpa-practice yung mga tao mag-express with their thumbs, right? And that's that's very, that's very, uh, what do you call it? That's very interesting that they're practicing with their thumbs because, um, um, you know, there's the, I don't know where they go from, I don't know where we go from this, actually. I've still to figure that out myself. And, um, basically, what I'm trying to say about bureaucracy is, um, um, it it of course it of course sort of gets to control you at some level, especially kanyari yung bureaucracy of Facebook, di ba kanyari, may bagong rules yung Facebook, uh, may nagsend sa akin ng parang thing ng Facebook puro English na may bagong rules yung Facebook. Okay, babasahin natin. So, immediately, ma-affect ka ng bureaucracy ng Facebook because we are using their forms. We are typing into their interface. And um, if you are typing into that, then you should be able to think of, ooh, what rules am I actually following, breaking, or being part of? And if um, you're kind of like there, then you should just be able to naturalize yourself. Kung baga, Ma- ma naturalize mo yung sarili mo sa pagiging part ng bureaucracy na iyon. And then there's an there's an aspect of um uh, the 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 physical physical aspect of bureaucracy like for example if you see if nag-apply ka na ng ano nag-apply ka na ng passport, nag-renew ka ng passport, kumuha ka ng driver's license, kumuha ka ng TIN ID, nag-apply ka sa pag-ibig, nag-apply ka sa bago mong business, or pinapakuha ka ng sweldo, or uh, pinagko-collection ka sa kumpanya nyo. You know, all these things na pwede mong ma-experience as actually like a, maybe not a bata, but like a maybe an aging person and part of the society that this is where you go when you want to get your money. This is where you go you want to, banks of course, uh, this is when you go you want to get your checks, this is one collection, you know, uh, so corporate side, diba? Lahat yan mayroong forms of um, uh, bureaucracy. And um, it's interesting why I wanted to talk about the races talaga is kasi may racy sa dulo. The races, that's why I call it the racy series. The racy series. And um, it rhymes with crazy or race or uh, race na... Uh, ethnicity or race na na unahan, di ba? And meron talagang unahan dyan kasi nandyan yung pilahan especially in bureaucracy nandyan yung pilahan so pila ka ng pila na experience mo yung bureaucracy it's part of it you know part of part of bureaucracy is being able to uh, become based in that uh, ideal di ba na talagang eh, pila ka muna eh, yun yung sistema eh. may number ka Merong kang merong number dun sa serbisyo na gusto mong uh, kunin, may number ka doon. Tapos sa serbisyo na gusto mong pag-usapan, may number ka rin doon. ba kahit sa mismo sa school na lang mismo, merong bureaucracy. Sa school, ang unang maka ano ng bureaucracy mo, yung uh, parents mo muna, yung mga nag, or yung kung sino man nag-enroll sa 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 school kasi sila yung mag-fill up ng forms mo, papakita kailang taon ka na, anong batch ka, 
That is some sort of form of bureaucracy, although the definition talaga is kailangan na sa gobyerno. Pero doon naman ini-introduce sa, sa paaralan yung ganung ano, mga bagay, yung bureaucracy. Because a bureau, may bureau pa rin yan, di ba? A bureau is like a group, kind of like a top group, a top leading group. Na bureau of, uh, pwedeng, pwedeng i-apply sa iba-ibang bagay, like bureau of ganito, bureau of ganyan. You get the point. But the bureau is like, one, it sounds super fancy. Like, for example, you, you can't say that you're, alam mo yun, you, you can't say that the yung board member mo, part siya ng bureau of ganito, bureau of whatever. Di ba? Like, um, or yung, you know, it is a, I think, It's probably French, you know. Pero yung bureau, uh, alam ko yung BIR, bureau yung B dun eh. BIR. Hindi naman banko yung BIR. Hindi <laughs> naman B yung banko dun eh. But yeah, bureau of something, right? And um, again, again, tinatry ko lang maalala, alalahanin yung ano yung alam ko about bureaucracy para may record ko into base Tagalog. Kasi yung base Tagalog, wala naman siyang pake so far sa kung ano yung alam, ano sinasabi ng mga ng mga f- ng uh, uh, and if ng mga Filipino and if you review the other episodes is what what do the base Tagalogs think about Filipino what is the reality of Filipino nowadays what is the reality of Filipino bureaucracy diba whereas for the you know educational purposes of this show and reviewing what these uh, boabs mean ano ba talaga yung nangyayari sa bureaucracy? Sino ba talaga yung pinapakita na, na, na alam mo yun? Because apparently, you know, in, in the way I see it on social media, there's a meme bureaucracy ongoing na parang kumbaga pag naglabas na ng pinakabagong marketing, mag, magpa-file na ng, ano nila, ng comments, magpa-file na ng comment section nila yung mga part ng bureaucracy na yun, di ba? Yung part ng bureaucracy ng pang- pangulong ganito, pin- pinunong ganito, or like book governor na ganito, or barangay na ganito, yung, yung mga part ng bureaucracy niya, magko-comment yun, tapos may sarili-sarili yung visuals and memes and forms, and then pwede ka mag-reply doon ng sarili mo pang visual bureaucracy, di ba? And uh, this is more sort of the artistic way of seeing it na talagang Ah, ang galing pala ng bureaucracy nyo eh, di ba? Pero medyo, nang, medyo parang may meme culture na yung bureaucracy nyo kasi uh, ganyan, pala yung, uh, ganyan pala yung gusto nyo yung bureaucracy. Eh, di yan yung mangyayari sa bureaucracy ng mga tao. So, ang bureaucracy ng mga tao, ganun talaga na parang kung ang uso ang memes sa mga tao, eh di, eh di yung memes na bureaucracy, yun ang talagang kakainan ng mga maghilig sa bureaucracy. Anyway, tapos kumakain yung mga tao from the the bureaucracy. Let's get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get into that in a bit. Uh, kung paano kumakain yung mga tao from the bureaucracy, diba? It's a very, very important thing to, in my in my personal experience, or um, where I'm leading you in the racy series, is very important na malaman kung paano nakakakain yung mga tao from the bureaucracy and that's actually sort of a form of um, um, I would say the sort of a form of evil which is very exciting to talk about in terms of the racy series because you know you know we're gonna be talking about theocracy soon so there's like evil and good and bad yung mga ganung kind of things because you know of what's gonna be involved later on But now we're we're talking about governing bodies. Uh, we're talking about what is sovereignty, what is what is authority, de ba? Parang yan yung mga nakapaloob dun sa pagpinag-usapan yung bureaucracy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because um, and I I know this from just school, you know. I know this from just uh, not even just studying because you know, again there's a physical aspect to bureaucracy which is in nalalakaran, de ba? Nyari ako lalakad ako to MRT. Technocracy pala yun, sorry. MRT, yung train example. But kung lalakad ako sa, ano, saan ba yung nalalakaran ko? Kung lalakad ako to the, um, bang government stuff. Ah, lalakad ako sa barangay. Diba? Lalakad ako sa barangay namin. Mag-file ako ng, ano, na, na naniniwala ako sa virus. O, oh, sige. So, pinaginawa nilang part na, mani- kailangan, part ng bureaucracy nila na maniniwala ka sa virus or isa sa sabihin mo, o, oh, two weeks na akong naniniwala sa virus na to. So to speak lang, hindi naman sa nang ano ako ng mga doktor, nang di-discredit ako ng you know, language lang. 
you know, two weeks na akong naniniwala sa virus o ganito na yung nangyari sa akin or, or, or naniwala kami sa virus tas natakot kami so namatay yung kinremate yung ganito namin tapos may cancer naman pala yung ano mo, yung uh, yung kapamilya mo and kapuso mo, diba? So, 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 na-experience pa rin yung bureaucracy, diba? Yung maximum sort of, um, maximum wild, mutated form of bureaucracy na sort of, um, bago siya mamatay, kailangan niya mag-sign, tapos meron siyang insu- insurance na makukuha, tapos meron siyang, merong i-imprint dun sa mga mahal niya sa buhay, i-imprint yung parang paniniwala niyo, i-record sa history na ito yung pinaniwalaan niyo, naniwala kayo sa ganitong type of bureaucracy, because there are really different types of governments and leaderships and and uh, bureaucracy, so I don't want to get into that yet, but it's all for, it's oh, that's history plus governing, diba? Historicity na yun, or like ano. But like, bureaucracy, sobrang simple lang. Na, lahat naman tayo nakakastikim ng bureaucracy. Pagpupunta ka pa lang sa meds, med, uh, medical, magpapamedical ka. Yun na lang yung best example, papamedical ka. Diba, bibigyan ka ng pad paper. Kasi, ano na yun, pa, hindi naman sa mahirap developing country pa lang po tayo, kami. Kami, at least kami, kasi nandito kami sa Pilipinas eh. Developing country pa lang po kami. So minsan, pad paper lang, wala talagang form, wala talagang mga design pa yung mga kung ano Basta pangalan lang, pati kung anong, kung anong gusto mo, ganun. Sulat mo sa papel, di ba? That's a form of bureaucracy. And even in the olden times, kung sulatan kita as uh, authority figure, so may seal ako dyan, you know, alam niyo mga, mga, mga letters na may seals, tapos ano nilalagyan ng tinatatakan or nilalawayan tapos isasend that's a form of practice of um, uh, communication within the bureaucratic scene so the within the bu- bureaucratic scene is for example in our context sobrang liit ako so ako uh, to be honest uh, I have to sort of uh, um, uh, give you a disclaimer na sobrang liit ng bureaucratic scene sa utak ko dahil wala namang ibang kilala eh. wala namang I'm not actually sort of from a um uh, and, and super out there uh political mindset i'm actually sort of more into the life of it lang alam mo buhay buhay lang pero wala actually akong ano nakakasalamuha na politicians wala ako actually akong nakakasalamuha na mga manloloko mga magnanakaw meron pero konti lang alam mo or kaibigan ko na rin yun so I mean, you get what you get what I mean. Uh, I hope my listeners get you as a listener get what I mean when what I mean when I'm saying that. And um, it's just you know, bureaucracy could still be felt. Kait kait anong iwas mo jan? Mampapansin mo pa rin na um, maraming maraming things na talagang eh, minsan mi, mismo mong pupunta na lang sa ibang pulo or pupunta ka na lang sa ibang bansa fill up ka pa rin ng immigration, titingnan pa rin yung records mo, alamin nila kung pwede ka ba talagang lumipad, alamin nila kung trabaho mo ba ganito ay ganyan. So it's all part of bureaucracy kasi yung positive side dun yung inaaral. Inaaral naman nila, yung sabi nilang ganito yung servisyo na gagawin nila, di aaralin nila yun, tapos magkakaroon sila ng data. Diba? Tapos yung data na yun, yung papasan naman sa, sa technocratic uh, scene. Sa bureaucratic scene, sabi nila eh, yun yung gagawin nila eh, dito ikaw naman, pumayag ka naman, hindi eh, kukunin na nila yun. Pag nakuha na nila yun, ang gagawin naman nila dun next is yun na yung magpapatakbo ng mismong bureaucratic system. Because the bureaucratic system actually um, is uh, manipulated and, and ang fuel ng bureaucratic system is information. So if there's no information going around, if if they don't, like, hindi sila magpapila ng mga tao para bigay yung information sa kanila, eh di walang gagana, di ba? Eh yung mga tao pa naman ngayon, yung mga kids ngayon, all our information is on the internet and all our information is on systems on or platforms on the internet, on Facebook, on different platforms and on different sides of of this new digital realm. And um, so if you think about it, yung where where kung saan masarap pag-usapan yung bureaucracy nationality the state and what you know about all that stuff i'm not even saying the p word yet because the p word is mas specific pa siya eh. pero yung p word actually ano na yun eh parang kumbaga 
ano na part na rin yun eh patagal matagal na rin yun eh pero usually the the, the polit, politics world the politics world politician world it's really just a name name game lang name game lang yun within the bureaucracy so it's one way to see that it's one way to unlock sort of why don't people don't care so much why don't people uh bait yung ibang tao they can afford not to care about uh these these issues diba uh ba, why, why do people have these uh Uh, views about um, these to- forms of issues and they talk about it as if it's just you know and um, it's part of it it's part of it because you know I would say that the politic politicking and in, in any especially here is uh, just a small part of the bureaucracy uh, that is happening around diba meron pa rin talagang ano kumbaga meron pa rin natural forms of bureaucracy maybe they're new uh, sorry oh yeah old and traditional forms and then there are definitely natural for uh sorry uh digital even forms of bureaucracy kunare ano bang iniisip mo na ba kung kinakausap ba talaga ng gobyerno natin yung Facebook or yung yung gobyerno ba natin as a national state meron ba talaga yung kinalaman sa sa pag-Facebook natin or pag-Twitter natin or pagpunta natin sa TikTok meron ba tayong kapasidad na ganun na sa government meron ba tayong sinasadya doon meron ba tayong intent sa pag-control ang data ng mga ng mga tao mga tao-tao nyo tao-tao mo na, alam mo yun kasi sa sa corporate sa corporate ginagawa yun eh. alam mo yun eh. may corporate profile ka meron kang corporate sort of galawan meron kang corporate sort of di ba I mean yung boss mo lahat ng nagagawa ng boss mo dapat eventually kaya mo yung gawin kasi yung pinapagawa sa'yo ng mga boss is actually yung bureaucratic journey na tinahak lang nila dun sa sa sarili nyong kompanya. And it applies, it applies in every other uh, sort of... Um, it applies in every other department. Yung lahat ng, may, lahat ng things na may department, lahat ng mga... It's a very male thing. I would say a very male thing, di ba? Uh, very male thing yung pagkakaroon ng isang idea of bureaucracy because the very male thing is boxes right box 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 ito yung box kung saan pumipila ito yung box kung saan may pera kung saan, ito yung box kung saan uh, may reklamo ito naman yung box kung saan may kwento the thing about I think in my opinion the, the thing about um, uh, what we are experiencing now what I am experiencing now is sort of the media's advertising uh, sort of uh, inception and like a uh, Uh, illusioning of uh, people na mag-react sila sa emotion of fixating on a certain box. What do I mean by that? Male na yung sasabi ko, di ba? Male. Yung pagkalalaki ng bureaucracia. Yung pagka-maleness nun, di ba? Yung parang turo-turo, responsibility, all that jazz. Di ba? Pag pinag-fixate ka ng bureaucracy sa isang key, sa isang box, and dun lang siya. Dun lang siya. Maybe that's giggle. That's maybe leadership at work maybe uh, but also from a from a only from this point of view sabihin yun lang yung intindi ng mga tao sa bureaucracy diba parang ang intindi lang nila sa bureaucracy is reklamo ang intindi lang nila sa bureaucracy is uh, mema diba and that's not totally bad because you know there's 98% of the people who are who want to learn and then there's 2% who know all of the everything diba There's two percent that's uh that's uh protected. That's there's the two percent that sort of um, kasale, kasale dun sa inner schemes of the bureaucratic uh system, um and then there's the two percent that's just not not naman parang um uh, exempt pero like uh it's it's placed upon them. It's placed upon you. To sort of figure out what to do for the others, the diba? the others. Hindi mawawala yun sa bureaucracy, kasi mismo ng sa China na yun ang pina problema ng mga Chinese, de ba? Diba? Mga problema ng Chinese, sobrang dami nilang Chinese, de ba? Diba? Sobrang dami yung Chinese, sobrang dami na kung sa dugo dugo, de ba? Diba? Sobrang dami nating ano may dugong Chino. Sobrang dami talaga, de ba? So ano yung bureaucracy nun? Yung crazy part, madaling isipin, de ba? Kasi singkit naman. Kitang-kita mo, singkit naman ako eh. ba? Diba? Minsan yung mga kakilala mo, singkit din. O kung hindi singkit, yun na yung totoong bureaucracy. Because paano, ba diba, isipin mo, paano nakapasok yung sobrang daming singkit dito? 
<laughs> oh, singkit ka. Bakit nandito ah? Di ba ganun yung tono ng bureaucracy ngayon? Di ba? Yung parang meme version ng bureaucracy is ganun. So parang, in a sense, that box is like filled to the brim by that uh, understanding of bureaucracy. So, yun ang pag-uusapan nila. So, in a sense, ang, trying, ang, ang real opinion ko doon is pwede naman yun ibuhos sa ibang bagay. Pwede naman yun ibuhos sa bureaucracy of economics. Sa so, bureaucracy of a uh, farm, for example. Bureaucracy of a certain type of uh, good. A certain type of product. May bureaucracy dyan lahat eh, kunyari. Diba, kunyari, uh, bawal na magkanin, bawal na mag ganito, bawal na ganyan. Um, I, uh, again, I'm not the expert on this, but this is what I know of bureaucracy na nagsisimula uh, sa pag-experience mo ng sarili mong nakikitang sistema. And kung uh, Pilipino ka, nandito ka sa Pilipin- Pilipinas, sa Metro Manila ka, yan halos lahat ng tao na ka-experience ng bureaucracy recently. Because, ano eh, Diba, yung parang physical bureaucracy, may checkpoint, pinapakita ng gobyerno na, na, ma, na powerful siya, na meron siyang uniform, na meron siyang matitikas na, na tindig, pati, pati ano, meron siyang alam ng mga iba-ibang gestures. Diba? That's, that's a form of marketing of, their bureau, of the bureaucracy. And it's also sort of important to understand that because... Um, Again, hindi naman nawawala, hindi naman nauubos yung bureaucracy. Nandiyan na yan, nakatanim na yan, papanoorin mo lang din yan. Tapos pwede mong sulat-sulatan, pwede mong tingnan-tingnan, and then pwede mong record over the years. Actually, kahit mamatay ka na, may magkakaroon pa rin ng, magkakaroon pa rin ng iba-ibang forms of bureaucracy. Kahit mamatay na rin ako, diba? Kahit mamatay, mamatay na rin ako bukas. Uh, bukas may bureaucracy pa rin. Tapos sobrang may realize mo, ikaw naman as tao, you know, let's let's connect it now to uh, um, that mood, right? Ikaw naman as tao, mm, diba, may realize mo kung gano'ng kakaliit in terms of kung gano'ng ka dapat nag-iingat, kung gano'ng ka dapat inaalam mo yung mga mas malalaking bagay sa'yo. Kasi ako, mas, alam ko, mas malaki yung bureaucracy sa akin kasi napapapila ako eh. Alam mo, kukuha lang naman ako ng license for something or pinag apply lang naman ako ng ganito, pipila pa ako, di ba? O, syempre, ibig sabihin, laki ng sistema na yun, di ba? Tapos, minsan napipilitan lang ako dun. Napipilitan ako. Sabihin, wall yun, di ba? Tapos may mga tao din sa kabila nun na nagtatrabaho din. Na nagtatrabaho rin yun din yung na, 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 na tao rin naman din sila. Pati, pati, ano, pati ginagawa lang daman din nila yung kinalakihan nila. Diba? Ikaw, kung malaki ka na, sisirain mo pa ba yun? Kung malaki ka na, malaki ka na, or mal- diba? Kung malaki ka na, paano mo sisirain yun? Diba? Paano mo, paano, an- ano, mas malaki ka dun? Diba? Parang ganun yung pagtatagalog nun. An- uh, si-, si talaga, mas malaki ka kay, ano, kay, <laughs> sa bureaucracy ng civil war ng Iron Man versus, Iron Man versus uh, Captain America. Talaga, babanggain mo yung mga yun. So, like, parang, hindi yata, hindi yata, hindi yata, pwede kang magsalita, syempre, wala naman sinasabing hindi ka pwede magsalita eh. Pwede kang mag, ano, pwede kang mag, uh, joke around about it, diba? Kung mag, uh, kung mag, uh, ano na eh, medyo light naman na yung usapan, medyo maganda na yung takbo ng pag-iisip natin, and um, di na tayo, naaalala natin na, ay, o nga pala, pwede nga pala tayong mag-isip for a living, you know, mag-isip for a living, Pero tayo nga pa lang mag, mag mag banter or or ma, mag umupo tapos mag pag-usapan yung istorya ng mga matatanda at pag-usapan yung istorya at nagawa ng mga mga heroes ng mga taong masasaya na mga kuno no pinagsasabi uh, or like yung mga matata- matatalino diba yung mga, yung mga genius nag-uusap usap yung mga genius and pinag-usapan lang nila is some form of you know mostly usually now the geniuses are talking about technocracy and and they hate bureaucracy but um you know i mean i don't hate bureaucracy i feel like it's a system that uh, i could do a lot of improvements on because um um you know parang to totoo naman eh pwede mo naman talaga gayahin sa ibang bansa eh yung ibang yung bureaucracy ng ibang bansa pwede mo gayahin kaya lang kailangan aralin mo muna because yung bureaucracy nila favored dun sa favored para sa mga nasasakupan nila 
So, di ba, kunyari, iba naman yung salita ng sinasakupan nila, di yun yung bureaucracy na kailangan nila. Kung yung sinasalita ng mga, ano, ng mga bureaucratic na tao doon ay uh, pabor sila sa auton, auto, autonomous, di ba? Pabor sila sa autonomous, pabor sila sa authority, pabor sila sa, sa grading system, pabor sila sa sovereignty, you know, gusto na mga feel talaga yung power gusto na ma-feel talaga na meron silang ano na pinapakinggan sila 'di ba na meron gusto na ma-feel na meron pala silang kayang gawin edi eh, part yun ng magiging understanding nila kung paano sila tutulong dun sa ano sa bureaucracy nila and i want to say that because um kanina nagjoke ako sa sa ano meron kaming meron akong parang local community home community nagjojoke ako na uh, yung DDS ano yun hindi naman bureau bureaucracy din yun alam mo yun kumbaga kumbaga kaya nga may term na for it eh. kaya nga may term na for uh, it's just funny on my side because I created this project called Someday Dream right and then if, if that's SDD right I mean I'm super aware of that and then pero yeah there's you know alam mo yun The, the bureaucracy, the crazy side of bureaucracy is once you don't, if you don't study it, you know, the moral of ano, little prince, diba? If you don't study it, then it evolves into something and it creates this, your planet will become like that. You're parang, kung yung tinitirahan mo, magiging, magiging parang weirded out na siya by that thing pag di nyo siya ina, pag di nyo ina, pag di natin inaalagaan yung effects ng bureaucracy, technocracy, and theocracy, even yan. Um, so that's the, ano, that's the purpose of me personally talking about, uh, for a linguistic point of view, yung Shinto angular approach uh, of base Tagalog. And the Shinto angular approach means that there's a natural sort of um, natural uh, that is arising, natural sort of of um, traditional and uh, almost hidden animism when uh, that that you can apply to language in order to really see, the diba, your your galawan ko ano ba talaga nintindihan ng mga tao so i mentioned a while ago that um yung meme bureaucracy yung meme bureaucracy is really sort of fun in my in my opinion right is it's really sort of fun because nagiging anime na yung ano nagiging anime na yung ideal ideal bureaucracy diba na pag hindi ka anime enough hindi ka gagana dun sa mga nakaka, na, nakakaalam kung anong dapat gawin, so to speak. Because sabi nila eh, sabi nila sa comment section, alam nila yung gagawin. So, na, 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 gets, na gets ko dun na, oh, minaintindihan naman pala natin yung mga mahirap na bagay. But, you know, I just wanted to contribute in terms of uh, having a word for it na based Tagalog. Yung nga, bureaucracy nga yung tawag dun. Kung ano yung pinag-usapan ng mga tao ngayon, laging, laging bureaucracy na na laging ano na because uh, for a while na uso I mean next week or two syempre iba na naman pero like uh, for a while syempre minsan uso talaga yung ano uh, meron kang pinaglalabasan ng galit or something like that again my name is Rez Toledo and this is sort of the first time that I'm able to record uh, live on Rez BDS podcast Facebook page so that's R-E-Z B-T-S podcast. This is um, my own personal podcast show. I do almost two episodes every week. So please do uh, 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 keep liking it and keep sharing it if you're into it. Um, if you're into it or just save it or just uh, save it for later or or uh, tag your, you know, any anything will really do because it's still new. It's very new, and in, um, I'm gonna be uploading um, this episode real soon. If you wanna take a review of it, um, but thank you so much for uh, listening, um, and then I will see you on the next episode. Bye. Races, races, the races, the races series on the Res Media's podcast.